Hey, mini fish. It's the 30th of December, 2017. Um, I'm seeing here and I'm getting a just a not good feeling in my gut about all this headline Iran and North Korea stuff here again. Stuff we've heard before, but the Iran stuff is pretty new and they really want to push how bad and evil the Iranian government is. Get the people turning against them. Even, you know, they probably are wicked demons, but nonetheless, you see how it works. But North Korea will continue preparing preemptive attacks with nuclear force. Okay? That's a pretty powerful headline. Again, not like we haven't seen it before, right? See, they get you all used to it. It's like, ah, yeah, whatever. But this article... You know, it's pretty straightforward. It says, you know, he ain't going to stop. And he's going to continue to prepare for preemptive nuclear attacks. You follow me? And, of course, the last line has to be, Trump said he would unleash fire and fury if it continues to threaten. And, and when I see this, the first thing it brought to my mind was this image that I've shared with you guys before. It's an image that was shown to me, purposely, very purposely shown to me, on my birthday in April, on April 6th, 2017, on Drudge. This was the, the headline, this was the thing, and it had nothing to do with this article, Republicans Push Button. If you go back in the archives and look at it, it's ridiculous. It, th this image did not match up with the article whatsoever. And, but this image was just brought upon me to, to take it and to look at it closely. And, and that's what I did, obviously. And, and when I did, I mean, the demonic things in this image are just off the hook. You have clouds that are demons flying at you. This whole mushroom here is nothing but demonic death and destruction and pain it's horrible right big nuclear explosion and you'll have to go back and look at some videos i did right around this time april 6th 10th between the 6th and the 15th probably i did a couple of videos on this as uh, of how i came to understand where this is this explosion takes place off of long beach california there's your oil rigs right there it's a western sunset, and the thing that really gave it away was this wishbone cloud that doesn't belong there. And when I looked into it, and I got on the maps and everything, there is literally a place on Catalina Island, right back here, off the coast, called Wishbone. And it's right on the 33rd parallel. Go check it out. It's amazing. But the real kicker on this image was the king's. It has a king in it. It doesn't have just one king. I'll, let me show you. Do you see the king? This is his face right here. This is his crown. You see him? Nice looking king. Righteous, clean looking, good king. That's what he really interprets there. If you look closer, look at his right eye. It'll be your left. This is an eye of another creature. This is like the cheekbone. This is the bridge of the nose. This right here is the top lip. That's the mouth with just jagged razor teeth in it. That's the bottom jaw. And it goes off. That is a locust king. That's what that is, guys. I just don't know what to tell you. That's what it is. The good king, the bad king. This is important because this wishbone right here was the total clincher that this was directly sent to me okay because four days after this image was shown to me on april 6th this showed up in my backyard that's what i want you to look at because i'm going to show you something directly related to that cloud right there and I'm going to turn it this way for myself. I can get some stills out of it. Remember? All right. Now, 
I don't know what to tell you. Okay, if that doesn't show you something, I don't know what does. But clouds do not form like that, you guys. They just don't. You see where I'm coming from? I hope you do. Because, I mean, this really, this, this isn't a joke. I mean, this is the stuff that, <laughs> I mean, my spirit is just screaming at me just to show you this stuff. I can't tell you exactly what it means. I just, I just can't. But there it is. I mean, clouds don't form like that. But they did for me because I was really, really struggling with what to do with this image after the, I saw it. Because I saw it immediately on the 6th and I could not get away from it for like two or three days. And then he showed me that. Okay, and it just put me at ease, showing me that this is going to come upon the earth. That's what it is. This is going to happen. I don't know when, but when I start seeing all this rhetoric flying around, and that's the first thing that came into my mind, this is just how it is. This is what came into my mind. And the real, real kicker was when I went and started plugging in some dates. Okay? I plugged in from January 1st, 2017, to April 6th, 96 days. You take from the 6th to the 31st, to tomorrow, it's 269 days. If we take the 96, the 2, and the 69, we see... 96 to 69. We have the 2 that can represent the 2 as in going to or as a 2 that will be split into 1 and 1. The 2346, the yin, the yang, the good, the bad, the wheat, the chaff. Do you understand what I'm saying? The separation. That's what I see. And I see it coming with a bang. Okay? But I had to put this out. There was an urgency in my spirit to put this out. That this event uh, is uh, on the horizon. I mean, that's all I can really tell you. And, uh, you know, I can't stress enough that you use discernment in all things. Especially what I tell you. Man, sorry, I have to keep slicing this video. There's one more thing I need to show you about this whole thing we got going on here. Uh, let's get these back again. The 4-6, the April 6, the whole center around that date for whatever reason is just bizarre. I can't tell you, again, I just can't, I can't explain it all, I'm sorry. The 4-6, I finished a job, right? The work I do, I restore old stuff, you know, iron work and stuff. And this was the last big job I finished four or five months ago. And check out this arch. There's a Bible verse on it, both inside and out. It has this Bible verse. Until the daybreak and the shadows flee away. Guess what that is? Song of Solomon 4, 6. Okay, now that's just weird. And these arches, man, I mean, <laughs> this these just totally, you know, it's funny. I work with this stuff all the time, and I, I, I only recently started noticing it. 1863, 666, this is just weird. But check this out. This, this, this is when it was finished right here, the day I finished it, right there, right? So if I look at the, the properties, I finished it on 622. Okay, at 9.46 a.m. That's when I took the picture there. 6.22. I go to 6.22, and of all things, I mean, you know, this, I don't know where it is. There it is. 6.22 to today, 191 days. 9.11. But, you know, that could be just a coincidence, too. I, you know, 
I really need to do like a testimony or something and because the more you know I know and understand how God works and how the Holy Spirit guides us the more I see how he's laid out my entire life just so amazingly and you know it's kind of cool so <laughs> anyway but I do urge you to seek Jesus Christ if you do not already know him this is the only way you are going to be able to withstand what's coming that's all I can tell you you got to choose a side here at some point or another choose Jesus is the truth so I hope this makes sense I hope you're all well and I wish you all peace grace and the love of Christ many fish finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 